Yeah, I'm Sean Jones. I'm the assistant chief. S H A W N J O N E S. All right, you guys are ready. Okay. Um, yesterday on February 2nd, around 12:50 uh, p.m., the Atlanta Police Department we received a 911 call that was regarding regarding a suspicious package that was near the intersection of the 14th Street and William Street, and it was attached to the outer frame of the bridge at that location. I was on five officers were the ones that were actually responded to the location in order to identify and to inspect the suspicious device that we've been able to determine. Um, and zone personnel follow up. They followed their uh, proper procedures and they alerted the special operations section. Uh, after inspecting the package, the decision was made to conduct a control disruption of the item and to render it safe. And due to the object possibly being an explosive device and to the safety to resolve uh, the issue. It was necessary to close down 75 and 85, uh, not to cause potential harm to the public as well as to contain the incident scene. You know, after the disruption of the package, no explosive material compounds were found. Uh, it has now come to, attention, to our attention that Georgia State University has taken responsibility uh, for the object. Uh, it was an assignment for a class, and yesterday when the, we saw the device, this was not known to the police department. Uh, what we observed, you know, was an object that looked like an explosive. Uh, the explosive device comes in many shapes and forms, as you may, may well know. And uh, what may appear to be one thing can easily be something else. Uh, we're looking uh, and we're working with the Georgia State University uh, to remove all art projects related to this class from public, uh, from the public uh, property immediately. The Atlanta Police Department takes all uh, calls of suspicious packages very seriously and we acted accordingly. Uh, the safety of our citizens and our visitors to the city must always be our top priority, and that's what we did yesterday when we had the uh, closed down the state down. Will anybody be arrested or charged for it in this? Well, this matter is still on investigation, and we are, again, we are working closely with Georgia State University uh, just to make sure that, you know, make sure that this was, you know, they're taking claim to it, and, um, it's, like I say, it's still an investigation, so we'll know as we continue through. And what charges might be possible in a case like this where there's been this kind of a disruption? Well, um, you know, it could be, uh, you know, you have situations like reckless conduct could be a part of what uh, could amount out of this, um, causing false public alarm or certain charges that could come conceivably out of this, uh, these types of situations. To your knowledge, did anyone from the school notify Atlanta police or DOT that these objects might be on the interstate? We had, to my knowledge, at this point in the investigation, there is no prior knowledge to any of that existing, any contacts being made. When did Georgia State Georgia University come Georgia forward Georgia and tell you that it was their project? Well, uh, according to the information that I'm receiving, this, we received this information today, this morning. Today? Yes. Not yesterday, while this was yeah. going on? According to the information that I've gotten. Nobody called you when you were trying to disarm this device while well, this was happening? Uh, not to my knowledge. We didn't receive any information. At what, what point did students realize that this was their device? What was the device? Exactly. Well, Before it's we call well. It a device, what, what was it? Well, it was a device that looked similar to similar to an explosive I know, but type what device. What they say it was. What, what well, they, well, they're saying that it was an art project. That art, uh, project. art project. So it was yes. like a box or something. Well, it was like a, 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 um, a container similar to what would be would be an explosive device. Was it a camera Could, inside? We're not going to go into all the details of what it was. Uh, what what was inside because it's still ongoing in terms of. Yeah, what, what did your chief? What did the notes say? Um, I'll let, um, I'm going to let uh, Major Tollison, okay, yeah, we, okay. Yeah, we want to hold off on that information because the investigation is still ongoing. Do you have an idea of how much this cost the city and the state? Well, it'll be all the, the man hours of the officers that were out there. We were out there about three and a half hours, and it'll just be that particular cost of the individuals, the EOD, the zone officers that responded. Well, what was but, the response? Was it a substantial response by the city and the state, or how can you uh, characterize well, um, the response? Well, absolutely. We, you know, we, had, we called in, um, you know, uh, the Georgia State Patrol, uh, DOT was also there to assist us, as well as the manpower that we had uh, out there on the scene. But it was primarily your manpower, right? So was it more than a normal serious accident where we have to divert traffic? Well, we actually had uh, Georgia State Patrol working with us in the in the diversion of the traffic um, to assist us. So, so, so it was like a partnership uh, out there on the scene. Is the city going to seek reimbursement? Is the city going to seek reimbursement from the school for the well, cost? Well, again, you know, the, um, the investigation is still ongoing, and we'll uh, relay that all that information over to our legal department, and they'll make that determination. What are the other seventeen locations of the cameras? Where were they, or are they located? 
Well, we're still trying to verify that. Uh, you know, with Georgia State University, we've had some of our people that have reached out to them as uh, late as this afternoon to try to verify all of those locations, and we just want to make sure that um, none of those items are on public property as we move forward. Who did you meet with illegal about displaying University? a camera? Who did you meet with, and what was your message to them? Okay, um, it was one of the professors. I don't know the professor's name. I don't know if someone here knows that name, but it was one of the professors in the classroom. You, you got that, John? No, we just referred to Georgia State. Classroom. Yeah. So yeah. So, but we met with one of the professors. Uh, any specifics you have to speak with Georgia State University as it relates to um, their particular statement? What about your words to them and future projects? Well, ideally, we, we would not want them to put uh, anything on public property of this nature that could cause public harm. Is there, uh, public uh, um, scare? Is there typically anything illegal about putting something up like this up? I mean, would they have been knowingly breaking any normal law that's on the book? As opposed to something like reckless conduct, which is in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Repeat that question. Is there anything sure illegal about them putting up that? Nor is it, did they commit an actual? Statutory crime other than well, of the item itself, of the of, of the item, well, of the in theory itself, then you know maybe not. But I guess when you start creating a false public alarm in those situations, it could be conceivably uh, more forward into something different. Is there a proper way, if I was a student at a university, that I could do a, an experiment like this? If we notified you ahead mm -hmm. of time, would that be an appropriate way to handle this, or is there? not any appropriate way for them to handle this. Well, ideally we would not want them to put anything of, that resembles of, um, an explosive device or any, de any device that could you know, cause public harm uh, on public property. Nice and does question. anything resemble an explosive device, like a box or anything like that, would that typically be? Well, anything that conceivably be, be mistaken as a um, you know, explosive could, device could, could be, be almost on public thing. property, right, at public property. Anytime you know, we see any package, any, it could be any package anywhere, you know, uh, from airport to, you know, uh, bridges, uh, on the roadway, uh, sidewalks, et cetera, they become suspicious packages. We respond to them and we, we take the necessary measures to ensure that uh, we can render them safely right. and not harm the public. Right, absolutely. Right. Like yeah. yeah. right. And we don't know how it got there. Right. right. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you.